In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Jonas Passover. It's the only feast in the church, of course, beside the, the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, we call it Passover. Why? As we spoke yesterday and the day before, there is a similarity between the death of our Lord Jesus Christ and for Jonah being in the uh, belly of the whale for three days and three nights. That's why the church has chosen to call it Jonah's Passover. Yes, in Christ we pass from death into life. For Jonah, for him, it was a death and life. But he gained life for himself only. Our Lord gained life for us. He was there for three nights with no hope. Our Lord was in the tomb for three nights with great actions. He was freeing the souls who are in the Hades and opening the paradise for them. And here today, let us share the words of St. Gregory the Theologian. He is saying, the Lord's Passover, this is the real feast. Jonah's Passover is a glimpse of the Lord's Passover. At this season, let, a, let different persons bring forth different fruits and offer different offerings, smaller or greater. The Passover, celebrate and offer what you have. Fruits, different th things, small or great. And then he continued, such spiritual offerings as are dear to God as each may have power. Because it's an offering of love. Then he continued and explained to us what does it mean to offer a sacrifice? Yes, the whole church is offering one sacrifice in the Eucharist, the body and the blood of Christ. But there is daily and even during the day many other sacrifices we can offer. So he continued, but let us sacrifice to God the sacrifice of praise upon the heavenly altar. In the church, in your altar at home, in your room and everywhere. It's time to offer a sacrifice of praise with the heavenly dances. Your heart is dancing for joy for what he has done for us. Shall I say that which is, which is a greater thing yet? Let us sacrifice ourselves to God. Then he's telling us, when you celebrate the Passover or Jonah's Passover, are you able to sacrifice yourself to God? Or you are seeking always your comfort zone? Sometimes we are bombarding our minds and our thoughts with what we hear in the media. You are first. You are number one. It's totally the opposite to the message of the gospel. It's the second mile. Did you walk the second mile for your friend, for your enemies even? He's telling us, let us sacrifice ourselves to God. Or rather, let us go on sacrificing throughout every day and at every moment. It's a life of sacrifice. Or he is calling you and me to be a living sacrifice. Every moment, throughout every day and at every moment, I'm giving myself to God and to others. This is the real meaning of a Passover. To give yourself the Lord's Passover. Jonah's Passover is a glimpse of what is going to happen in the real Passover of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because St. Paul says in the in 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, For Christ is our Passover. Then he continued, Let us accept anything for the world's sake. By sufferings, let us imitate his passion. Are you a real disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ? Are you a real member of his body? By suffering, let us imitate his passions. How many times you said it's enough? And you choose the easy way to divorce. How many times you said it's enough? I'm not going to suffer anymore for my spouse. It's time to be out of this marriage, or even to have an affair. I was in need. 
is telling us by suffering let us imitate his passion by our blood let us river his blood do you adore the blood of Christ go back to Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 29 said some people are considered the blood of Christ as common let us have such reverence to his blood let us gladly mount upon the cross we choose to be crucified with him is it written follow me and take upon your shoulder your cross once no when the Lord was commanding us to follow him and to take the cross he said daily sometimes again we say I did it it didn't work then say do it five times if it didn't work don't do it anymore do it daily to be a little follower of our Lord Jesus Christ sweet are the nails the nails of Christ though they, they were very painful sometimes we reject pain we don't see it as a way of healing but his nails was for healing were for healing even with brains agbeya your life giving passions finally is concluding the words in Gregory's theologian by saying for to suffer with Christ and for Christ is better than a life of ease with others again in Jonas Passover what is your choice to suffer with Christ and for Christ which is better than a life of ease with others sometimes we choose and we decide the life of ease only at time while we are celebrating Jonas Passover to tell him Lord we choose to suffer with you for you because it's better than life with ease I will pray that you will enjoy Jonas Passover and see you soon and glory be to God forever. Amen.